Xiaomi just launched their latest Xiaomi 15s Pro in China and as always, we have got it for you guys. Now, the biggest highlight of this phone is that it doesn't come with the Snapdragon, MediaTek or even Exynos chipset. In fact, it's running on Xiaomi's very own X-Ring O1 processor. Yes, it's the first flagship smartphone processor that Xiaomi has made from scratch and since it's their first attempt, naturally there are a ton of questions. How does it perform in benchmarks? Is it good for gaming and day-to-day -day usage? Does it heat up or not? And how stable is it? Well, we have tested everything in detail and the results are surprisingly shocking. In fact, it's so surprising. Well, you know what? Let's take it step by step and understand the architecture first. First of all, it's a 3 nanometer TSMC chipset, just like Apple, MediaTek, and Qualcomm. But when it comes to the CPU cores, you get 10 cores here, which is more than every other chipset. There are two high performance cores, six performance cores, and two efficiency cores. In terms of clock speeds, it's not the most impressive, but the chip size is the smallest compared to others. If I talk about the GPU, X Ring has the same GPU as the flagship Dimensity 9400. But here also, it has got more cores, but the clock speeds are lower. There's also a 6-core NPU with up to 44 tops and MediaTek T800 modem with ultra-wideband support. For image processing, Xiaomi has its own 4th generation ISP and the phone that we have with us come with 16 GB of LPDDR5T RAM and 512 GB of UFS 4.1 storage. By the way, for those who don't know, LPDDR5T is 13% faster than LPDDR5X. Now that you know the basics about this new chip, Set, let's just put it to test and see how it performs in benchmarks. First of all, in N22, this phone performs surprisingly well and scores more than 2.5 million. It's even more than the flagship 9400, which I honestly didn't expect, and it's slightly, just very slightly behind Snapdragon. Yeah, the temperature is more than the competition, but it's very much in control. In Geekbench, this new chipset comfortably beats the Dimensity 9400 in single core, which is surprising, but What's even more shocking is that this beats the Apple's A18 Pro in multi-core, which no one would have expected. I mean, for the very first chipset, this is a huge milestone for Xiaomi. In fact, there are a lot of companies who have been trying to master the art of smartphone processors, but they have not been able to even come close to these biggies. But Xiaomi, Xiaomi kind of nailed it in their first attempt. Now, when it comes to the Geekbench GPU, X-Ring scores the highest in OpenCL and it's the lowest in Vulkan graphics, but the difference is not a lot in both cases. So yeah, it's pretty evenly matched. By the way, we couldn't run 3D Mark GPU because it's blocked on the phone, but we did put it through CPU throttling and here also, it was the most stable in both 15 minutes and 100 minutes test, which is just mind-blowing. So that was all about the benchmarks, but now let's talk about the real benchmark. And that is gaming. The very first game that I played was COD Mobile. I was able to play at the maximum settings at 120 FPS and throughout my gameplay, it was very smooth and was maintaining a stable FPS. I also tried Genshin at the highest settings and here also, the gameplay was quite smooth and the average FPS after 15 minutes was 59.8, which is great. In Woodring Waves also, it was pretty much the same story. There were no lags or frame drops even when I was getting beaten by a ton of enemies. Finally, I played everyone's favorite PGMI and since this phone is not officially available in India, it could go only up to 60 FPS, but the gameplay was fantastic. All in all, X-Wing 01 is just killing it, be it benchmarks, demanding games, but what about heating? I've never said anything about it. Heating? I I'm coming to the heating. I'm coming to it. While running benchmarks, it was getting a bit too warm and the temperature was higher than other processors, but during gaming, it was well within the usual range. So yeah, no problems there. Apart from the performance, there's one more thing that also matters a lot, and that is the ISP. It basically decides how well your photos or videos will be processed. Since there's an in-house ISP, there were always doubts about photos and videos, but surprisingly, Xiaomi has nailed that as well. The photos come out pretty sharp, be it the 50 megapixel main camera, 50 megapixel ultra wide, or even the 5x shot from the 50 megapixel telephoto lens. In fact, while I was working on this video, I came across this very nice comparison from our friends at Gizmo China, and they have specifically mentioned that compared to a Snapdragon ISP, it offers accurate white balance, better dynamic range, and better videos at night. But there are some negatives also. Like the ultra wide camera has a greenish tint, viewfinder clarity is slightly less, and the Leica tones are kind of weaker. Now, the ISP here does not beat Snapdragon ISP, but it's not too far either. It's very close, and for most people, it might not even make a lot of difference. Finally, I tested the network connectivity and put in my GeoSIM, and the speed test results were quite satisfactory. It's actually better than my experience with Tensor.
don't hate me for this i'm just telling the facts so yeah that's pretty much everything about this brand new chipset from Xiaomi. Considering X-Ring O1 is their first flagship smartphone processor, it's just crazy to see how good it is. Kudos to Xiaomi for this. For a company that started with just custom ROMs, they have definitely come a long way in just 15 years. It's a big threat to both Snapdragon and MediaTek, but you know what? Tensor and Exynos are... They are safe. Now that Xiaomi has successfully launched a flagship processor, it'll be great if they can replicate the same for budget segment and bring those processors to India because then it'll be even more competitive and more competition is always good for us, the consumers. So yeah, that's it from my side. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did, press that like button. It really means a lot. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Oh, by the way, if you want to know about the rest of the phone, well, it's uh, good.